Throw a shot, get shot at, fuck your sneak disses. Get rolled on in these streets like deep dishes. Alright, no up, so you know, first of all, salute on what you did with, with jazz. Yeah, you know, salute you know, that. You know, because honestly in two years that you could get her to be the most popular female basically in battle rap mm -hmm. slash type hip hop before Nicki and all that. Well, she's been on the radio and all that, I-97. Really? She, she, she's been fucking, shout out to K-Slay, DJ Test Move. You know, shout, shout out to Flex, shout, shout out to all of them, man, like, everybody showing her love, man. Shout right. out to um, Votto, good nigga, we did a job with too, so. She did a job with Votto? Yeah, they, they're supposed to lock it in soon, but they, um, uh, it's a whole, whole thing. Nah, not a problem, not a problem. Jazz, we want you here, so Brooklyn Gabriel Studios, Brooklyn Gabriel Television. But here, this is something that, um, yeah, let's take a look here. You know, when I was watching a battle, oh, let's fuck that up. When I was watching a battle, something kind of rub me up, it made me feel a type of certain type of way. I don't know. It was pretty funny actually. Yeah. Check it out. Okay. Yes. So um you've done an amazing job with Jazz the Rapper. Now watching this battle, first of all it was the last battle. Very good battle, good styles, um and to me to me one of the better battles that Summer Madden, so salute. One thing was kind of funny, and, and, and I don't know, it made me look at the politics behind it. I don't know what the politics behind it, but, you know, but let's watch this and see what goes on here, all right? No, because the nigga that works for the nigga that works for the nigga that go get the Dutch for crap. Why Debo? Why, why Debo so excited? Salute Debo. Love your work. Love what you do. But why Debo so excited? Uh, yeah. <laughs> look at Smack. Smack what he Look at Look at Look at You know what's funny? Look, look, look. And, then, and then what's up with the pound? What's up with the pound? What's up with all of that? Like, is there a rift? What's going on? I mean, I don't know. He liked that bar. I mean. It comes with the territory. I mean, I think I never. This is the first time I've seen his reaction. Really? Yeah, I never seen a reaction. Um, hey man, it comes with the territory. I guess like I'm probably the most mentioned dude in battle rap. I'm more mentioned than Smack, so it's kind of crazy. Oh. Honestly, that was a crazy reaction. I guess you yeah. don't really like that far. Dude, like, like crazy, and, and it goes on more. Look, he's always like every laid somebody out. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Well, he said he trained at him. He said that's his girl. So I guess he's looking at it like that's his girl and Jazz. Did he say he trained at? So, so, like, when I seen that, yeah. I said, whoa, Debo, because I don't know the politics inside, you know. And I know a little something, but, you know, I still don't know. That's, that's family. That's y'all family. But, you know, once I seen that reaction, I said, whoa. I said, what's going on here? And then I seen him pound smack. And smack, give him the pound back. Mm -hmm. And I said, whoa. You know, and then you can see throughout the battle a little bit, he's like, yo, go, Miss Hustle. You never seen that? I'm go, Miss Hustle. Hey, man, like, so what's going on, yo? Like, hey, what's going on? And salute Debo, salute Smack, salute everybody. But I'm just calling it how I see it. Like, what's I mean, up? Smack ain't, smack ain't really know how the nigga was giving the pound. To be honest, okay. Smack ain't really... Smack know what time it is. Of course, about. he's the boss. That's my partner. Of course, so it is what it is, and it's cool to mention me. I mean, it's not the first time you mentioned. You get mentioned a lot yeah, of battles, and then that's like it seems like the that, that was the most reaction she got off a bar in that battle, which was Miss Hustle. So I, I guess you know when you battle jazz, it comes with the territory. You're gonna take a shot at me. I I really did not expect that reaction, but I actually should have. But um, oh, why you say you should have expected that reaction? I mean, you know, if you look at it, let's I mean, break down the film. This is what we do. This is what we do at Brooklyn Gabriel Television, all right? Hold on, you got Jazz the Rapper. Okay. Nice to smash and just regular people. Okay. And then it looks like you got Stalker, but that's my homie, Stalker. Stalker, Lady Red, all right. Fire Funeral, who eventually in this battle jumps out and challenges Jazz. Yeah. You got Debo, and it just looks like the whole Queen of the Ring versus Jazz kind of thing. I don't know why, but that's what it looks mm, like. I, I did notice, I did notice that. Miss Fitty was around there too? Nah, but Miss Fitty's the homie. Like She's Brooklyn though. Yeah, yeah. Cause I know she, she'll ride with Brooklyn. Right. I mean, that's what she came up the stage with, it's whatever. But um, that's what it looks like. I mean, you know, if you was cheering for I mean, you could cheer for your favorite or whatever. But 
I just took it as battle rap. Like, so did y- did y'all take it like? Did he take it like this is the young lady that I groomed and you know I mean, this is the young lady that groom you groomed. groomed. Like, he didn't groom Miss Hustle. Miss Hustle. Did, he didn't. If, if you heard, heard, if, 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 you heard, heard if you heard, if you heard what she said, she said I got my cosign from Smack. Now that's yeah. definitely not Smack. Definitely. Um, and you know, well you said. had your cosign from Jazz. The nigga that worked for a nigga. And I spoke to Hustle after that. And I knew the shot was coming. That's what a lot of people don't know. Of course. I knew the shot was coming. And Hustle spoke about it before. And I was like, well, I don't care. Hustle, that's, that's my friend. At the end of the day, she's a little crazy. But it's still my friend. Um, in terms of how he reacted, like I said, I don't really, like, I don't really have that type of relationship with him. Okay. Uh, we speak, so I don't really know how he felt. But he definitely was excited about that. Yeah, he definitely was excited about it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I enjoyed his reaction. You know why? You know why I enjoyed his reaction? Well, because after... Before, with all of this crap that's been going on with the URL and Smack, and now to see these two, these two MCs on the stage. First of all, both of them doing their thing, all right. And well, second, yeah, there's, very a, there's, both, a reason I, there's a reason I booked this battle. Of, oh, but, uh, excuse you know, me, sir. You booked this battle. This is, this is, my battle. This this is like your battle. battle. Okay. I'm, I'm, also, I'm not just the only guy that works for the nigga that works for the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but but what was, what was kind of cool about this was to show that there is a lot of energy still running through the Smack URL brand to show that there is inner competition. And I always say in business, if you don't have in, inner competition within a company, a company cannot grow. That's one. All right. So I enjoyed that. So you know what you're gonna you know what he's gonna do next battle or um, from Queen of the Ring that ever steps on a Smack stage. And possibly it could be against Jazz the Rapper. Guess what he's going to do? He's going to make sure that girl game is all the way stepped up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. But like I said, Hustle's not. If you see, she, if you watch her Twitter, anything, she says she's the first lady URL. She doesn't say she's the first lady queen, right? So that, that's kind of that, like, it doesn't make sense. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day like, you know, I definitely respect the fact what what he's done for for the, for the ladies and who he's helped get up there of course. And, you know if he feels you know that was a great bar if that really made his just you know if you got in front of him just say a lot of those bars you know that might get that reaction well, i know my place in the company i don't have no worries about that smack holds me a high regard you know? definitely you can't get to smack and man, this is funny i tell you a bunch of stories a lot of people don't realize how me and smack got together and Beasley and Chico, I was brought in by Smack. He he really um understood and, and really um admired what I did, and he he brought me in as a partner. And, really? Um, yeah, that's a lot of people don't know. So then the thing when people say what they say, it's cool, you know. I don't really mind it. It kind of makes me laugh, and it puts more money in my pocket to be honest with you, because you're not only you know. I don't take it as a disrespect. I take it as an honor. You know, Hustle is one of the best female MCs that ever do, do it. So, you know, her mentioning me in that battle is going to have millions of people watching. So, you know, that's, that's nothing. I seen her after the battle. Great promo. It's great promo. And, and you know, even if, you know, even if that, that individual, uh, Debo, loved that bar, I'm still getting mentioned to your fans and everybody else, so it's cool, man. It's a good way to look at it. Good way to look at it. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't take no offense to it. Like, I see sure. multiple reactions. Like, you know, it, it, was, it was just interesting. It, 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 it did it seem like everybody was against jazz on that stage. On that oh, of course, of course, but, of course, know, of course. I, I, but I try to be nonpartisan in terms of when I'm on stage. That's why, like, what the crazy I thing see was, you go from one yeah. side in one round and another yeah. round you go to the other Which side. It's a running joke on Smack, actually. They say I'm a camera whore. But <laughs> you are. She said, um, <laughs> somebody said Norris wasn't on stage because with jazz because he knew whatever, whatever. And I was like, if you yeah, watch every yeah. jazz battle, I've never been on stage with jazz. Okay. Because I get nervous when jazz battles. I really get nervous, like a father. Like, really. Crazy. And uh, I get really nervous, and I get annoying, so I kind of stay away from her. Now, usually, uh, usually a ritual is I give her a hug and kiss. I tell her I love her, and I tell her good luck. Let me ask you a question, then. Yeah. Does she spit her mouth to you? No, she will not. We will go over strategies. We'll laugh really? about certain things. Um, yeah, like we, she won't. She won't spit the bar. Why not? You be um, a perfect person to bounce that off. You know what, Jazzy? She's a champion, so I, if they, they say when you got a champion, you don't want to change so much up in their mindset when they go into a battle. You just want to let them run. I just want her to do what she does. You know what I mean? If this is what you do, this is how you train. It's fine. And uh, Jazzy's very, she's very, she's very anal about that shit. She doesn't right. really like the people hearing this shit. And um, 
the least, I, I even told her to the least people that hear your shit, the better. For the simple fact that she's so great that people start saying that, you know, people write for her and stuff. And I told her, the more people that you, you're cool with or whatever, regardless of what it is, they're going to stay there helping you. That's why I tell her, just stay. Right. That's why I've always, we've always been on the same page in terms of, of, of joining crews or being around certain people or dating rappers. Like, I, I really don't allow her to date rappers. I really get upset. I'm like, I'm really like, a, that's like my little sister. So, you know, I can't allow, I can't say allow, but I try to tell right. her, just stay away right. In terms of your career, it's beneficial to you, so. You know, like, it, it, you know, it, it comes to the territory. And plus, I'm such a big, me and Smack are probably the two biggest figures in terms of owners in battle rap, so it comes with the territory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The voice of battle rap. It comes with the battle territory. Battle. Man, Star, like, Star, uh, he tells me all the time, man, like, he calls me a legend. And coming from somebody that I admire yeah. and idolize coming up, yeah. man, it means a lot, so. Star, yeah, Star and Buckwild, man, battle rap media. You know, you do a hell of a job. You're one of my inspiration stuff from, you know, just the way you handle your business, the way you yeah. talk to the people. So keep doing what you're doing. Salute. But that was a crazy reaction. Dude, that was a crazy I, I kept thought, her watching. I thought that was David Tyree catching a <laughs>